Hello, fellow story explorers. Welcome to Stories with Stan. Today, I have a special guest here with me, a fellow author, Miss Connie Crawley. Hey, Connie, how are you today? I'm doing well. How about you, Stan? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited to be here. Awesome. Do you mind telling our guest a little bit about who you are? Well, sure. So my name is Connie Crawley, and I'm a former kindergarten and first grade teacher. Taught third grade for many years as well, but never second grade like you, Stan. <laughs> um, I've also worked for an educational software company, but in the last few years, I've decided that what I really want to do is follow my dreams to mm. write children's books. So I've written seven children's children's books now, and I'm just loving every minute of it. That's awesome. I love that you're following your dreams and uh, telling your stories because it's important for us to share our stories with others. So today we're going to read your book, Amazing You. Uh, but can you tell us a little bit about why you wrote it? Well, sure, I'd love to. So the subtitle of the book is A Celebration of Individuality. Okay. And that's really what it is. I want children and adults, too, to understand that each person's individuality, the way that they are, is special and unique unique and meaningful. But I also wanted to acknowledge that, you know, we're not all perfect, that mm -hmm. we want to grow in different ways. Yeah. Um, some of us have things that we want to accomplish in our life or learn to do. And I wanted to let children and adults know that you can reach for things, that you can strive to be something even more than what you are. That is amazing. That is a story that everyone needs to hear. And I'm so excited uh, to share this book with all of our viewers. Can we share your book? Let's do. All right, come on friends, let's take a look inside. Amazing You, A Celebration of Individuality by Connie Goyette Crawley. Illustrations by Lilith Vale Bally. For Keegan, Declan, Bryn, Addie, Brandt, McKenzie, and you, because you're amazing. Deep in the jungle, Ed played a sad song on his trunk, which he thought was excessively long. And far away in another place lived a girl named Jenna Jace, who thought that her ears should be a bit smaller and wished that she was a little bit taller. That day, as Jenna sat and read, some magic danced around her head. Then she looked up and stunned she froze to see an elephant nose to nose. You're amazing, Ed told Jenna. You're amazing, she told Ed. And grinning at each other, the two brand new friends said, you might have something you'd like to fix, but you're made up of an awesome mix of the way you look and the things you do. It's all a part of amazing you. As they walked on and the weather got hotter, they spied two eyes peeking out of the water. Then up from the water rose a surprise a hippopotamus right in front of their eyes. I don't like my voice, grumped the hippo named Sue. I wish that I spoke with an oink or a moo or a chirp or a roar or a squawk or a squeak. I really don't care for the way that I speak. You might have something you'd like to fix, but you're made up of an awesome mix of the way you look and the things you do. It's all a part of amazing you. The three new friends wandered till noon, whistling a jungle tune. Then what silly sight did their six eyes see? A rhinoceros hiding behind a tree. This gigantic horn takes up my whole face. It shouldn't be there. It looks out of place. You might have something you'd like to fix, but you're made up of an awesome mix of the way you look and the things you do. It's all a part of amazing you. All of the friends 
Indians and the rhino named Jax hiked through the jungle, leaving their tracks. And just up ahead, look what they found. A sad little monkey plopped there on the ground. I really want to climb this tree, but I can't. It's just too hard for me. Jax and Sue and the others said, You can! You will! Just use your head. When there's something hard to do, don't give up. We believe in you. So Mike the monkey waved <laughs> goodbye and raced off to give it another try. Onto the savanna, the friends strolled with a laugh. And there, in the distance, they spied a giraffe. The sweet giraffe, whose name was Paul, thought that he was way too tall. On every branch, I bump my head. I'm all alone up here, he said. Now Sue showed what she had learned and called out with her head upturned. You might have something you'd like to fix, but you're made up of an awesome mix of the way you look and the things you do. It's all a part of amazing you. The gang slid down a steep ravine and met a zebra named Maxine. Max wished that her stripes were rainbow bright instead of plain old black and white. You might have something you'd like to fix, but you're made up of an awesome mix of the way you look and the things you do. It's all a part of amazing you. Back in the jungle, they chuckled to see Mike flinging bananas from the top of a tree. You believed in me, so I tried again and climbed this tree right there and then. Then Jenna found herself back beneath her own trees, holding her book, still propped up on her knees, and she saw herself as she really was, special and perfect and awesome because all you really have to do is just believe in. Amazing You. Pass it on. Let someone else know that they're amazing. I hope you enjoyed Connie's book, Amazing You. Always remember to be kind and never judge a book or a person by, by their, their cover. cover. See you next time, friends.